morning everybody and welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to do this um medium sized uh, butterfly mold and i'm going to be adding some nail holographic film right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix up a couple of ounces of resin and then we're going to crinkle up the paper and we're just going to put it on different parts But what I want to do first is I want to use my flakes. These are from Let's Resin, the Chameleon Flakes. So we're going to do um, violet. So this is a blue to purple shift. So you're going to need a brush, so a makeup brush or a paint brush. Lovely. And we're going to brush all the way around the mold. We're not going to do these bits, these sections here, these big sections, because we're going to use the film to put on there. So. He's very messy. So you just want to make sure that you get every bit of the mould, apart from them big spots. Getting all your edges. So what I'll do is, as I'll time lapse you through these, you don't need to see me doing this all the way through. It's just as simple as that. Once we've we come back and we've got rid of we've we've moved the um, files, not files, the chameleon flakes. We can um, clean up around the edges and insides with some isopropyl alcohol or a baby wipe. And then we can put down our film. So I will get back to you once this has um, all been done. doing now is I'm just burnishing everything in just making sure that it's all rubbed in properly all the edges are coated and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my garbage can and I'm gonna give this a clean and then I think when I come back I'm gonna be sticking them down different colours on different parts of the mould so I'll be back with you shortly Oh my, that was hard. <laughs> Absolutely a nightmare trying to get that off. I must have gone through a half pack of um, Q-tips, cotton buds, micro brushes, baby wipes, trying to get into all the finer areas. So I did it the best I could. So let's get on with these. Um, with these. So yeah, I like the effect of... Um, making them hot. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to mix up some resin. I'm just going to do um, two ounces. I just want a base layer just to cover it and that just so that my film can sit down without causing issues. So I'll mix up some resin. I'm going to be using the Apex High Gloss One to One Resin from Just Few Online UK. Everything from today's video will be down in the description box along with discount codes from a company so if you want to treat yourself to any of the products in the video or anything on their website you can save yourself some money in the process so i'll be back right, so i've mixed up 60 mils which is two ounces of resin and i'm just gonna 
rub these and just snip different colours. pour down a little bit of resin in these areas that I've got the um, finger areas what they're called grooves So I've got some bubbles, so I'm just going to use my heat gun, may as well while it's air. Heat gun just helps with bubbles. Right, and we're just going to start putting these down. So you want the shiny side down. As I said, I'm not after symmetry, I'm just after covering. that's everything uh, covered in the film and I'm just going to put this resin first all over the back it's just to keep it into place and then if we've got any um, over overhang of the film we can we can pull it off we can cut it off so it's no problem like this here, I might need to turn it over. So, what we're going to do is let that cure. I'll come back and we can do a back coat of black. So, I shall see you in a bit. Bye. Hi, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm so very sorry. I did come to um, pull the back, and my phone would not record. Um, and I had 10 minutes to get the resin mixed and poured. Um, so I had to go ahead and um, so record without um, showing you the back. All I did was mix um, jet black epoxy pigment paste with um, two ounces of resin and then poured it and cured it. So we're going to get this demolded anyway. So we're going to take a look to see what these foils are like. I haven't used nail foils. So I usually buy rolls of film from Amazon Angelina Film. Um, I can't afford Dichroic. But I think for the effect I need to buy some. 
the antennas of the butterfly are a little soft, but that's fine. Right, come out clean, cleaner. <laughs> so let's have a look. Are we ready? Let's see what these um, foils are like. What do you think? No, I'm not keen. I think the um, foils are not the best. They're not my cup of tea. I don't think black, um, what's it called? I think putting a clear layer down was a mistake, but. So, it got some overspill. You just chop that off. I'll give this my granddaughter. But I, I just wanted to see if they worked. And to be honest with you, they don't work like um, other films I've used. What do you think? I'll show you properly in a minute. I'm just chopping this off. This is just um, the film. I think for the film to actually work, you need the, the backing, the uh, black straight on, on top of the foil. I mean, these some of them are not too bad. It's just some of them are just awful. I don't know why. It's just, no, it's just, they look brown. Not very nice at all. But, not everything we do can be perfect every time. It's not a total failure, but it's not exactly the best. Anyway, guys, so please like, comment and subscribe if you've not already done so. That would help my channel out so much. And I shall see you on tomorrow's upload. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.